নমস্কার বন্ধুরা আমরা এই যাচ্ছি স্বামী সাতমানন্দ মহারাজের কথামৃত শুনতে না আজকে মানে ভাগবত পাঠ করবে তো যেতে হবে এখানে অনেকটা দূর এক ঘন্টার দূরে প্রচুর ঠান্ডা প্রচুর ঠান্ডা জানেন তো ঠান্ডা হাওয়া দিচ্ছে মানে একদম সহ্য করা যাচ্ছে না যেন ঠান্ডাটা ঠান্ডা পড়ে গেল জানেন ভালো লাগছে না আর মানে বাজে দিন চলে আসছে ও বেশ ঠান্ডা হাওয়াটা দিচ্ছে না বেশ হাওয়াটা বেশ ঠান্ডা হাওয়া আর সুখের দিন চলে গেল এবারে সাত আট মাস দুঃখের দিন আমাদের বিতাতে হবে সুখের দিন আমাদের চলে যাচ্ছে আস্তে আস্তে করে এই যে গুনগুন উঠছে দাঁড়ানো দেখাচ্ছি এই যে গাড়িতে উঠবে গুনগুন এখানে দাঁড়াতে একদম মানে বিরক্তি লাগছে এত ঠান্ডা হাওয়া আর আমি একটু আগেই শ্যাম্পু করেছি মাথাতে একদম ভেজা চুল ঠান্ডাটা যেন আরো বেশি লাগছে আর আমার তো ওই পাশে আমার সিট গাড়ির সিট তো এই দিক দিয়ে ঢুকে দরজা খুলে ঢুকতে অসুবিধা আমাকে বাইরে দাঁড়িয়ে থাকতে হয় শীতকালটাতে না আমার গাড়িতে উঠতে খুব কষ্ট হয় বাইরে আমি অপেক্ষা করি এখানে দাঁড়াতে আরাম লাগছে তো তাই যেন সুব্রত কি করে তাই জন্য সুব্রত কি তাই জন্য সুব্রত কি করে সকালবেলায় না গুনগুনকে যখন ছাড়তে আসে তখন তো খুব ঠান্ডা পড়ে যায় মানে সকালটার দিকটা খুব ঠান্ডা লাগে তো এই গ্যারেজটা খুলে না আমরা দাঁড়িয়ে থাকি তো একটু কোজি ভাব থাকে তো এই গরম লাগে একটু এই ঠান্ডাটা না মানে আমাদের কলকাতার মানুষরা বুঝতে পারবে না মানে এত মানে কি বলুন তো গায়ে না ছুঁচ ফোঁটার মতন হাওয়াটা লাগে মানে এই ঠান্ডায় হাওয়া লাগে ঠিক আছে কিন্তু সে যেন মনে হয় ছুঁচ ঢুকে যাচ্ছে আমার আপনার শরীরটা আর পুরো অবস করে দেয় আমরা এবারে চলছি যেখানে যাবো আছে কি কথা মিলিতে হবে না ভাগবত পাঠ হবে আর কথা মিলিত তো নয় গীতা আচ্ছা আজকে হবে গীতা পাঠ রাস্তার গাড়িও দাঁড়িয়ে যাবে সব জায়গায় মানে স্কুল থেকে পেরিয়ে চলে গেলাম এসছি লাইব্রেরিতে না লাইব্রেরিতে করবো এটা নেপার বিল লাইব্রেরি প্রচুর ঠান্ডা মানে কাঁপিয়ে দিচ্ছে দাঁত দাঁতটা ঠক ঠক করছে পুরো তো চলুন ভেতরে গিয়ে কথা বলছি
What is this Radha? It says Shankaracharya. He says these two ways is Radha. Shastrasya Guru Vakyasya Satya Buddhi Avadharanam. He gives that uh, the definition of Radha that you must have to have complete faith in the words of the scripture. Whatever the scripture says, it is correct, right. Now again, what is scripture? Scripture is those words of the realized souls. Not that anyone writing something is a scripture. It must be the words of the realized soul that is the scripture. Now believing on those words, and then Guru, a person who himself has realized the truth and then you are guiding you, that is also, you must have the faith in that, the words of the Guru. Now another thing is, as Swami Vivekananda said, that you must have self-confidence. Otherwise, you won't be able to do anything. So in the language of Swami Vivekananda, the more I grow, the more it seems to me that everything lies in manliness. There's a great word. The man manliness means self-confidence. It's not ego. Self-confidence. The scripture has said this, and I'm sure that I'll be able to practice this. So that confidence, if you am, I'm not having, then slowly we are going to, we have reading this Bhagavad Gita for the last few years and uh, Vedanta Study Circle of Nepal will organizing this in the 95th library we come, we meet once in a month every first Friday of the month all slowly slowly we are going on doing so what is the ultimate thing? ultimate thing is we are going to not only learn but to practice and Bhagavad Gita is a unique scripture, unique book that gives us the theory and also practices. Here, today, now we are studying the 17th chapter that is asking us to practice. And what are the practices? And it says that usually the people have three different qualities because of the three gunas, Sattva, Raja, Tama, Guna. Guna means the qualities. According to the three guna, anything that we do, it divides. Some people are donating, but donating without discriminating whom I am donating. They are giving that donation uh, with pride and sometimes negligently they are giving that donation. So that is called Tamasika donation. And sometimes people will be giving, but they will ask that you must recognize this then that Rajasika donation. And some will, people will be donating quietly with all respect. So that is called Shattika donation. Same thing, have same action. But three different people, because of the three different type of mentality, attitude, they are same act is changing in three different ways, Sattva, Raja and Tama. In the 17th chapter, the Lord is giving us that. Why he is mentioning Raja and Tama? He could mention that you must practice in this way, which is good always, that is Sattva. But he gives the Sattva at the same time Raja and Tama, so that we can <clears throat> understand our position. How we act. Am I in the stages of Tama or in the Raja or now in Sattva? So if I am in the Raja, I must go to the Sattva. That effort should be there. The whole spiritual life is nothing but transformation. Nothing is going to change. Only thought processes are going to change. Attitudes are going to change. Physically, nothing. Only the thoughts. So here we completed up to 
uh, I think 15, 14. Up to 14 we have completed. Now, there's a very interesting way the Lord, Lord Krishna is mentioning how we work again and again, those who are attending my discourses, my classes, you know, again and again we mention the three different ways we act. Mostly, people can recognize when we are physically doing. And second is the thought, and third is the bhakya, to the words. Swami Turiyananda Ji Maharaj, those who are uh, those who have read the biographies of the Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna and you know the direct disciple of Sri Ramakrishna is a great personality. He was a yogi. So he was once sitting in Bedulmont and then one brahmachari was coming down. Those who have visited Bedulmont will understand. They were sitting on that the old temple is just in front of that, the house, they used to stay there. Then in, the, in the open space they were sitting and that Brahmachari was coming down. Then someone pointed, Maharaj, he is doing your personal seva. And he does it very diligently and dedicated way. Then Turiyanandaji said, how much seva he is doing to me. And I am doing a lot of seva for him. The seva means service. That brahmachari is washing the clothes or arranging the food or doing something like that as the elderly people, sometimes young people, they come, they do that, serve them. But the Turiyanandaji commented how much he is doing for me. is nothing. Little physical shape. We observe that person is coming and serving. But Turiyanandaji is constantly praying for him and always changing all the bad qualities of the person and giving him all good. So that is also the work that he is doing through thoughts. So that indicates it is not only physical that is action, we always understand, but mental thoughts are also actions that also we should know, we should understand. The mental actions are also there. And then third is the bachika. The bachika means to the words. The when we should do, how we should do. Now he says, the tapa. Tapa means austerity. The tapa you must in the spiritual life, tapasya. He did a great austerity. And most of the Indian swamis, they love to say, I was in Himalaya doing tapasya. There is a, in, Himalaya is a good place, that's true. But tapa doesn't mean that you were in the Himalaya and you were doing tapas. Of course it is cold, it is difficult to get, nowadays everything is available in most of the places. But we think that oh, in, in Himalaya means great tapas. No, nothing like that. Living in Chicago, living in New York, you can do the tapas job. How? Because mentally, first, now let us chant from this, 15th one. Anudvega karam bhakyam Satyam priyam Satyam priyam Hitam chaya Swadhaya Abhyasanam chaiva Vangmaya Tapa uchati Look at it, how they are explaining Vangmaya tapa That is the three different way of a tapasya The first is the words The beginning with the words only The how we are doing it Then before that in the 14th It says sharina We have already chanted that Deva, Vija,